A Russian attack on Kharkiv, Ukraine on Wednesday may have leveraged a newly developed guided bomb that killed at least one person and injured 19 others, said the National Police. News.com has learned that Ukrainian officials believe that Russians used a UMPBD 30SN guided bomb, which destroyed 10 apartment buildings, two private households, a dormitory, a gymnasium, a school and a hospital clinic. This is a new projectile that was used for the first time in Kharkiv, said Volodymyr Tymoshka, the head of the state security service in the Kharkiv region on Telegram. Tymoshko compared the weapon to a flying bomb that is a blend of a traditional bomb and a missile. The UMPB D-30SN is an airdrop bomb that is integrated with a guidance and glide kit, allowing soldiers to guide it mid-flight, and its internal designs make it similar to a cruise missile, but much cheaper to develop. This new weapon could become more commonplace in the war, as the Institute for the Study of War said it believes Russia is planning to mass-produce the weapon. Ole Sinhabov, the governor of the Kharkiv region, suggested that Russia had never used the weapon before, and decided that it would test it on a major city, Reuters reports. It seems that the Russians have decided to test their modified bombs on residents of a residential building, on the playground, at school, at the hospital, he wrote on Telegram. He added the attack caused terrible terror in broad daylight against the civilian population, against children, women and ordinary peaceful people before calling Russia a terrorist country. On March 10, Russia used the weapon against the town of Mir Norad in the Donetsk Oblast region, which has become the front lines of the war, with Russia controlling the eastern portions of the region and Ukraine in the north and west. The Institute for the Study of War said Ukrainian soldiers had initially misidentified the weapon as a missile. Bloggers inside Russia have claimed that the bomb can be launched from rocket launchers as well as dropped from airplanes. The Ukraine officials used the attack to once again call for the US and Western allies to sell Kiev Patriot missiles. The surface-to-air missile could provide crucial defense against Russian air attacks on major Ukrainian cities. In early March, a senior defense official told Defense One that the U.S. would not sell Ukraine the weapons because they require U.S. soldiers to operate. There's no discussion about putting a Patriot battery in Ukraine. In order to do that you have to put U.S. troops with it to operate it, said the person. It is not a system that the Ukrainians are familiar with and as we have made very clear, there will be no U.S. troops fighting in Ukraine. Also today, the National Police said the Russians launched a similar airstrike today in Donetsk region, destroying 29 apartment buildings and shops while injuring two people.